What if you could automate routine things that you do in the terminal every day, like switch to a very long and complex folder path that you normally have to go CD space, CD space, um, or maybe open a file or a folder directly in Sublime Text. Today we learn in this very quick video how to do that. It will only apply to Mac and Linux and Unix users. Uh, it will not apply to, Win to Windows users. I'm sorry, there are ways to do it, but that's just, it's completely different from this video. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Sublime Text or your favorite text editor, and you're gonna open a new document, and we're going to save what's called the Bash Profile folder. I can't type and talk at the same time. If you guys wonder why I do that. Okay, so the file in your user directory called .bash profile is the file we're gonna update. And what that is, is that runs every time you open a new terminal session. So let's go ahead and make an alias. An alias just is a shortcut basically for a command. Alias, let's go n. Now I'll just make it super simple. I'll just call it nginx for an nginx project that I'm working on. If I go nginx, then the then I basically do quotes, and anything in the quotes is the actual command it runs when I type nginx. So I'm going to go code sandbox nginx engine. So that's a long folder name that I hate typing. I'm always having to type it. And I'm going to echo, which will tell me this will basically just echo whatever I put in here. And this is just my reference to remember that I have this command. Okay, let me go ahead and hit save. I'm going to go to my user folder, dot bash profile. There we go. It warns me that dot is only for system files, and then I'm going to replace it, and I say, yep. Yeah. Okay, so now if I create a new terminal session, you'll notice that it echoes this. That's why I type the echo here. So whenever I open a new window of any kind, I'm always going to echo that. And so now I can just type nginx. There we go, and it automatically took me all the way up to my nginx folder, which is my user slash code slash sandbox slash nginx slash nginx. Awesome. Let's, here's another very useful one, and that's, I call it sub, which is for sublime text. Um, and I'm going to go open. This is actually a function, a bash function. Looks like JavaScript in a lot of ways. Number one, it, or dollar one, is my first argument that I pass it. I'll show you in a second how to use that. And then dash a is my application name, and I'm going to go sublime text. So there we go, and then I'm going to echo my, you know, rem reminder. Open file in Sublime. There we go, let's save that, and let's go ahead, and now I have to open a new session. Always have to open a new terminal for these things to activate. Just so you know, if I type sub here, nothing happens, says command not found. I open a new terminal window, and I'm going to be fine. So now I can go, let me see what I got here. I can go sub music. And voila, it opened the music folder as if it were a project in Sublime Text. Super cool. Let me go to my Nginx folder now. And let me see what I got. Let me go sub vagrant file. Nice. So now I can easily open a file. I can easily open a project. If you want to open the folder you're in, you just do dot. And there you go. Now I got my whole engine X file. And that's a super fun little trick that lots of people don't know about that allows you, allows you to automate a lot of things in terminal, create your own shortcuts, and generally enjoy life more. Have a great day.